Okay, so today I'm going to be working with uh, or discussing one's complement notation. Um, this is a computer science concept, and it's a concept um, that tries to deal with the handling of negative numbers, especially in binary, but really in any number system. Now, in binary, it's uh, there's a couple different ways to represent different number uh, negative numbers. Uh, one is using a uh, a bit, one of the bits here, which is one of the place values to represent. Um, either a positive or a negative state for the number. Uh, so, for instance, if this was a zero, it might be a positive number, and if it was a one, it might be a negative number. Um, the only problem with that, um, and this is ba basically called a signed integer, um, the only problem with that, though, is that you eliminate one of the bits, and then you can't actually uh, represent as high of a number using the eight bits that you have, because now you only have seven bits. Um, so instead what we can do is we can use something called one's complement notation. Um, and I'll show you how it works here uh, through an example. So we can start off um, with uh, an example and I'll show you uh, 45 minus 15, how this would work using just regular algebra here. Now this is going to be just plain binary addition here, or uh, binary subtraction, mainly because um, the 15 is a positive here and it'll get more interesting um, when we go to negative 15 or we get negative values. Okay, um, at the bottom here you may notice I have like a copy here. Just ignore that. That's just so I can copy and paste and clean up uh, or set up new equations later on if I need them. Uh, okay, also you may have noticed I set up these little numbers underneath. These are little cheat um, numbers to help you uh, know what the value of every place value is in binary. Okay, so what we have here is, uh, let's try with uh, 45 minus 15. Okay, so we have the equation 45 minus 15. And what I should get is the number 30. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I represent 45, and that's 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay, and that's 32 plus 8 is 40, plus 4 and 1 is 45. Okay, and then I want to do minus 15 which is 1, 1, 1, 1. Now, when you're working with 1's complement notation, you have to put the leading zeros and you have to include all 8 bits. And it won't become apparent in this particular example, but it will um, in the other ones. Okay, and then you can, because this is going to work out to be just a regular negative or positive um, number, what we can do is we can actually just uh, work out the equation normally here. I'll just draw it like that. Okay, so you have 1 minus 1 is 0. Now, 0 minus 1 you can't do. So what we have to do is we have to borrow here. So this becomes a 0, and this would become a 2. Okay, and then we'd have 1. Again, same thing here. This would become a 0. This would become a 2. Okay. And then we'd have um, 0 uh, minus 1. Again, this wouldn't work, so we'd have to 0. This would become a 2. You have to borrow again. This becomes a 1, and then this becomes a 2. And one, one, and then all the rest are zeros. Okay, and if I copy this uh, little cheater bar here, okay, okay, you'd be able to see that uh, what I have is 16 plus 4 uh, is 20, plus 8 plus 2 is ten, another 10, so that's 30. Okay, and so I do get the correct answer. Okay, and that's uh, a a fairly simple example of just regular binary um, addition and subtraction. Now the p problem, or a more interesting um, case, comes when I have negative numbers. Okay, so let's take if I did 45 minus negative 15. Okay. Now the problem is if you worked with a signed integer, you'd have to kind of reverse the operation. Um, and so it's kind of like you'd have to know that you have a, a subtraction of a negative, which is really a, an addition operation. Uh, it makes things a little more complicated. So instead, what we can do is we can use a negative, um, we can use what's called one's complement notation. So what we do is we set up our 45 as normal. Okay, so as before, 45 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? And now 15 normally, as we saw before, is 1, 1, 1, 1. And we have to put the leading zeros in. Now the 1's complement um, 
method just basically says for negative numbers what we do is we reverse all the values so uh, zeros become ones and ones become zeros okay, so instead of four zeros followed by four ones it is four ones followed by four zeros now it's important to remember that this number is not actually negative 15. This is the ones complement of negative 15, so it's a representation of negative 15. Um, but if you try to like, add these up, of course it's not going to come to negative 15. Okay. So anyways, what we can do then is then we just process the subtraction as normal. Okay. So we have 1 minus 0 is equal to 0. Uh, 0 minus 0 is 0. zero. 1 uh, minus 0 is... And I made a mistake. 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 1 minus 0 is zero, 1, 1, and we have to do a borrow here. Okay, so this becomes 0, 2. Okay, and now we end up with a problem. Okay, and the problem is that I have a 0 minus 1, which I can't do without borrowing, but I can't borrow anything here because there's nothing to borrow. Okay, um, so one's complement is kind of weird because what you can do is something called the end around borrow write that here. Okay, it's called end around borrow. Alright, and what that means, um, it's kind of a weird thing, but what you can do is you can actually borrow this one. Okay, so this would become a zero. And it can be borrowed up to here. This would become a two. Okay, so that becomes a one and a two here. And this becomes a one and a two here. And then what I have is 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0. Okay, and so I end up with this number here. And I'll move this up so we can see the values. Okay, now I should, uh, should have done the uh, subtraction first, but I have 45 minus negative 15, which is 60. Okay, and so here I have 32, plus 16 is 48, plus 8 is 56, plus 4 is 60. And I would have had 61, but I did the end around borrow, which made it a 0 here, which means I just have 60, and so this works out. Okay, on the other hand, um, let's try a different operation here. Okay, I'm just going to clean up the screen here. And I'm going to use similar numbers. And it's going to illustrate another technique here. Um, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say 45 plus negative 15. And this number should be 30, as we saw earlier. Okay, so this is going to be a plus. Now, 45 is 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. And the 1's complement, negative 15, as we saw earlier, was 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and now I have an addition operation. Okay, and you're going to see something kind of weird as, like, happen again here. So we got 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, and 1, 1, 1. Okay, now here we get a 1 plus 1, which is a 2, but we can't put a 2 here, so we put a 0 and carry. Okay, and that becomes a 2. So we do the same thing, and carry. And then all of a sudden we have a carry over here, but, well, where can it go? Right? Because we're out of bits. So what happens is we perform another operation, similar to the one before, um, called the end around carry. Alright, so what happens is this one uh, gets carried over all the way down to here. Alright, so carry the 1 here, this be this would become a 2, so this becomes a 0, and then this becomes a 1 here. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that up, so it should, as I showed there, it should be a 1 and a 0. Okay, after the end around carry. Okay, and then what we do is this over here and take a look at the answer. And I've got 16 plus 8 is 24, plus 4 is 28, plus 2 is 30. So the end around carry works as well. It's kind of a weird thing with the end around borrow and the end around carry, but that's how it works. Now remember, one's 
complement notation is really just showing the number in its, uh, you just take the number in its um, positive form and then just flip all the bits. So ones, all the ones become zeros, all the zeros become ones. And that becomes the ones complement notation for, um, 